Hello everyone, welcome back to our video, and uh, today's video is going to be rather short. I just wanted to uh, come here and show you guys my custom figure of um, Web Weaver from The Boys, the newest episode, which was probably my favorite episode this entire season so far. It was just really fun to watch. Um, and yeah, I thought we were going to get a scene of Web we we Weaver swinging, but no. I don't even know how he would swing. He has the web hole on like his ass, so I don't know how that would work. Eh. But um, yeah. Without any further dattling, uh, here is my custom web weaver. He's not the best, I know, but I worked with what I had, which I used an Agent Venom head right here, and just use a sharpie to color over the white bit. And the rest is paper that was sharpie to yellow. So, yeah. You don't have any hindrance on the articulation. It's all still fully intact. It's worries there. Um, oh yeah, and the base of the body is um, the Spider-Man War from the Into the Spider-Verse movie. So, yeah. The Spider-Man Noir wasn't the best figure anyway, so... Yeah, I might just pick up the Sentinel to replace him. Um, but yeah, I even added a little web shooter hole. Um, so this guy, he was rather easy. He was very easy to make. Um, you can make him very easy. Since he's just plain black with a few yellow spots on him. Like, none of this down here has anything on it, so... Yeah, and it also helps that uh, Spider-Man Noir had some of these things. Little dots that made it look more like texture. The only bad thing is that his shoulders and arms look a bit weird because they're like foldy. But I, I still think he looks free. Especially from afar. Like, hey, let me pose this guy really quickly. So yeah, especially from afar, I think he looks great. When you get bit up close, he does look a bit worse but hey eh. from afar that just looks amazing i really like how he turned out another thing i should probably mention is that this is a iron man not iron man but that war machine over there yeah if you can see him right behind iron man right over there uh this is one of his hands since i didn't have any black uh, wall crawling hands i decided that this was the next best thing uh, but yeah, let's, uh, do some size comparisons now with some other figures. So here Web Weaver is with the Mafex Black Noir, which as you can see, he is taller than him, which, when I looked back in the episode when I was making this guy, um, especially when Huey was wearing the suit, he was rather tall, and because it fit Huey like a glove, that means Web Weaver is also pretty tall so that means the base fits even more perfectly oh yeah one more thing uh that no the spoiler warning for the newest episode of the boys which yeah, um which is episode six of season four um when black noir when we got the face reveal of new noir like we got real reveal of old noir last season this season, getting to see New Noir's face, and it's actually the actor who's been playing Black Noir this entire time. The person who we saw under the mask last season was isn't the guy who plays Black Noir. The guy who plays Black Noir is like Michael something. So he's actually the New Noir now, which is cool. And also, New Noir can fly? What? Yeah, I don't know. I just think New Noir is going to have something cool coming up. Anyway, here he is with the boy with my the boy's custom lamp lighter. Um, I think I prefer um, Web Weaver out of the two of these guys. I feel like the lamp here kind of drags this guy down, but yeah, I'm also kind of scared to pose him because afraid I'll like break off the something or whatever, ship the paint on the hood. Because this guy is used to making a Red Skull base from What If. Uh, Namor's trident right there. Just cut down. 
the Peter Parker, uh, Sprinterette, and, uh, Spider-Man 2-pack, uh, a Ninja Hood, Cobra Kai, and Ninja Turtle 2-pack thing, vest thing he cut down, and yeah, it's just really, it's a lot more complicated than Web Weaver. And finally, here he is with the, um, Amazing Spider-Man 2 slash No Way Home, uh, Andrew Garfield. I decided to pick this Spider-Man because it's the only Spider-Man figure I have, like, standing up on my shelf, so, yeah. And, uh, he is standing on the case, so that moves, like, a few inches, but still. Uh, him and Andrew actually look pretty cool together, uh, um, but yeah. So, that is my custom figure of Lamplighter. I would have done a how to make, but... Eh, he's simple enough where I don't think I need to. I didn't do it lamp later because I just didn't feel like making a video showing him off. But yeah, and oh yeah, uh, I also do have Homelander over there. Because that's where I put my boy's figures, but I just didn't want to take him out of that pose because it was hard to put him in that pose and make him stay in the air and stuff. So yeah, I just. I don't want to take him down. I'll pull Frank over. Fucking hell. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.